Hey, my loves, welcome to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment because I love to bump gums with you. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the Give Them Lala podcast. What a what a day. So much has happened. So much uh, K-Dot mm. and um, Drake news. Wow. BBL Drizzy. <laughs> yes. I can't wait for the updates. Um, Easton knows all the things. Another fun-filled weekend for me. I'm exhausted. Um, the finale episode of Vanderpump aired last night. Did anyone watch it? Did they show my purge? I was unaware. I was supposed to be watching Vanderpump. Don't Rules. worry. I didn't watch either. Okay. Mm. Okay. We will be watching though because yes. Uh, we'll that's be why I just asked. Do I have to watch this? No. Or can I just free ball it when we're talking about it? No, because it, I'm not going to talk. I'm not addressing any VPR Beautiful. news don't until any, third so part can, of the reunion. And it's going to be very quick. You guys don't need to weigh in. I don't want questions. I'm going to say my piece. We're going to move on. And I never want to discuss uh, season 11 again. And I hope by that time everyone gets their fucking rabies shots <laughs> because they're foaming at the mouth. These fucking bitches in these streets on socials. I'm like, yo. Yo. Amen, amen. We got <laughs> um, <me> tired. What? <laughs> I said they make me tired. Oh. The rabies bitches. Oh. Um, okay, so let's talk about news in the Birmingham household. Ooh. Before exciting. we move on to the news from producer John on paper. <laughs> um, so my mom after palm or uh, after stagecoach. <laughs> my mom after stagecoach, she decides that she's gonna stay in Palm Springs. She's like, I'm going to stay until tomorrow. I'm like, great, stay until tomorrow. I call her. I'm going to stay until tomorrow. I was like, perfect, have the best time. Calls me the next day. I'm going to stay until tomorrow. <laughs> so she continues to stay until tomorrow. Tomorrow finally came, but it's the last day. And Easton. <laughs> I can't. Tell. Please tell the story. So I'm in the midst of moving. So I'm like, when are you coming home? Yeah. So she goes, I'm going to come home today, tonight. So we're FaceTiming and she goes, so look at this. She's on FaceTime. That's why I'm holding this. And she's walking out the back or the front door, the garage door, to show me something. And as she's walking through it, I just hear, fuck. <gasps> and then the phone hit the ground. <laughs> and now I'm on FaceTime with the phone just aimed up at the garage. <laughs> <laughs> no. And it's so funny now. But at the time, I at was the like, time, was am like, I about to just drive to Palm yeah. Springs for two hours and find my mom needing life alert? Right. <laughs> <laughs> me, I can't get up. <laughs> no. What happened? But Tell the, us. But so she, g I'm on the ground for two minutes looking up as she's what, my on the knees. FaceTime. She's on FaceTime. She's, she's on, on the, the ground. ground. She's on the ground, okay. just talking to the phone, probably five feet away from her, going, "My knee, no. my knee." <laughs> <laughs> and, and no one's there. No the, one's there except my really. dog, <laughs> my geriatric dog. And I can't tell you, Lisa doesn't cuss, and Lisa was. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> this, this fucking door, these fucking mats. <laughs> Listen, we've never had an issue with the door or the mat. Had she, an issue. she picks up the phone. So she finally gets to the phone and she goes, let me show you what happened. So her shoe got like she was wearing flip flops. So the back of the flip flop got cut underneath the door. So like when she went to walk, it caught her. No. But I was thinking, pick your feet up, sweetheart. <laughs> Did she hurt herself bad? Bad enough to stay an extra day. Oh, to stay till tomorrow. <laughs> no, but we were worried for a oh, second, yeah. like when she wouldn't answer the phone. We're fine now because she's I home. Know, I was like, yeah. we can laugh really hard. Yeah. And her knees look normal. They don't look like different. No, no, I was no. The, say it's one bruise. The no. left one is thick. The, oh, is it thick now? It's thick. Oh, I haven't checked up on Lise. her since. I was going to say, legend has it, she's still in Palm Springs. <laughs> Mentally. <laughs> Mentally, she's still in Palm Springs. And I was in Vegas, and yesterday, I call her to tell her, like, I'm coming home. But I'm FaceTiming her at the airport, and I tell her, um, I'm so excited to see you guys. Like, I'm exhausted. And she goes, well, it's been a day. <laughs> I go, it's 945. Uh, what? I don't understand. She goes, she's, let's just say, she's trying. <laughs> she's trying today. She meaning ocean. Yeah. She meaning ocean, and obviously. And taking it out on me. Oh, no. 
Apparently, she did take it out on Easton. Yeah, I walked. I go, what's your attitude? And she goes, well, she is very difficult today. I go, why are you being an asshole to me then? Yeah. Oh, she's just, you know no. what? Maybe she was not pleased that she was home from Palm Springs. That's exactly Well, right. like, no. I was like, girl, <laughs> I didn't work all week right. so that you could stay in Palm Springs. And I was with Ocean. Not a big deal. Ocean's my kid. But, like, I literally maneuvered multiple days of the week to be with Ocean. Right. You have her for five seconds, <laughs> and you're like, so mentally, she is in Palm Springs. <laughs> normally, she's the one that's the champion. I'm calling Lisa being like, I need you to calm me down. <laughs> she is definitely wrecking me today. Ocean just... um. She's she's just special. She's a special, special child. Well, she's a strong personality, which is why we <sighs> love her. A she's a comedian. She's a goer. And you were, unless you want to save this, do you want to talk about Vegas? Because you've said We're going to talk about Vegas. Okay. We're going to talk about Vegas. Before I get into Vegas, okay. let me just say one more thing about Ocean. Uh, she had, a, a, after Stagecoach, a meltdown that can only be described as traumatizing for me. I have PTSD from it, in fact. Stop. So when my mom said it's a trying day, I was immediately went into panic mode. Cut to, I remember a conversation that Sheena and I had just had before we left. And Brock was like, hey, honey, by the way, I got <laughs> all the, I got the nail polish off your shoes. It ended up just being the peel off kind. And I go, nail polish on your shoes? Who painted your shoes? And she goes, your daughter. My, my daughter busted into Sheena's closet because she loves closets. Yeah. She loves boots. She also told me Sheena has better shoes than I do, which is, abs I love you, Sheena, but absolutely false. <laughs> it's a false statement. Oh, she there, told you this? Yes. I, there's nothing fact about this, all right? Okay. Love you, Sheena, but Dolce & Gabbana, <laughs> let's just say, all right? Ocean, don't touch my fucking shoes if you cannot appreciate the brand inside, okay? I'm offended. She don't know. I'm offended. She's just all about the look right now. I love you, Sheesh, <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana, the ones that Ocean gravitates towards, okay? Right. Right. Had there been nail polish on those, I can't go there. I can't even go there. Anyway, my daughter painted her shoes. Painted Sheena's shoes. Yeah. Were you guys there, or did they have a play date without no, you No, they there? had a play date without me there. <laughs> now they know. You got to watch that kid at all times. She she's creative. <laughs> my mom asked her today. She goes, "Did you who painted Sheena's shoes?" And she goes, "I went in and it was I I accidentally painted them and it was just an accident. It's it was like, just an oh. accident and it, it was I didn't mean to. I didn't as mean just, to. As she's as she's does a whole as mural. A whole, yep. But I, I accidentally did it. She's a hustler. It's just like when the teacher told her stop spitting your tongue out. Yeah. At the other little dance students, and she goes, I, I didn't stick my tongue out. I'm a dog. <laughs> yeah. And now her new one is if she does it, I'm making funny faces. <laughs> it's like, no, you're just being a stone no, she's kicker. She's so funny. <laughs> the other night, I told her, I was like, it's time for bed. And she goes, this is what we're going to do, mom. Oh. You're going to watch murder on the TV, murder. and I'm going to watch a movie on your phone. Does Honestly, that sound good, mom? Thing. Honestly, genius. I was like, that's oh, yeah, exactly what I we are doing. That's something. called compromise, Ocean, and you are a genius. You're a genius. Here's Alice in Wonderland on my phone, <laughs> and I'm watching Homicide New York on Netflix because it is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> You're going to watch murder on the TV is the You're funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I took a, vid a, a video. <laughs> I took a video. Okay, I went to Vegas. We go to Thunder Down Under Night One. Love it. Okay, great show. Great show. We had them on as guests. Did you see Kurt and Joe? Yeah, the hottest one doesn't even dance. He does one number in the at the very end, and he's great. Okay. But he is he is fine. But he's the MC. Oh, he's actually the MC. Shirt off. He stays clothed the whole time until the very very end when he takes his clothes off. Then he takes his clothes off, mm. and he's got rhythm. Like I'm sure he lays pipe quite nicely. Sure, obviously. He's Australian. He's Hello. Australian. Hello. Hello. But there was this one who was like six seven, mm -hmm. very hot. Not a lot of rhythm, but like Brittany said, you can rub up and down in that way on his abs. Sure. And clearly get an orgasm. Sure. Okay. Sure. Wait, are you guys sitting down like in chairs? We're sitting down at a booth. 
Okay. Uh, do they sell the booth cushions and after each show? And the amount of horny... <laughs> I'm in. The horny bride-to-be's, okay? Or brides-to-be. Beyond. Yeah. And can I be rude? Please Can be I rude. be rude? I'm going to be a little rude. Producer John is sh- nodding his head. Yes, Please, be, rude. be rude. The amount of, like, wildness that these brides with the sashes on display... Makes me a little sad because I watch them and I go, you wanted to get married so badly that you settled on mediocre dick just because they'll marry you. Mm. And I find that depressing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Wait for the thunder down under man. Right. You know, we don't need to get married. Right. Bang the thunder down under man. Right. Because they were going wild. <gasps> a little too wild. When, you know? Yes. When, when brides... For their bridal shower or men for their groom shower or whatever it's a bachelor party. When they go crazy and they treat it like and the men are like strippers and they hook up with the strippers and the ladies like men and they're like my last hurrah. I'm like, <laughs> this is so not a good sign. Because bad you're, sign. You're so thirsty to make it like, oh, after this, the ball and chain. It's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't be getting married. We, yeah, I agree. I agree. We shouldn't be getting but you know what? We down. love marriage here at we the Give Them Lala. We love marriage here at the Give Them Lala podcast. <laughs> we, we love it. If anyone loves marriage, it's the three of us. We love it. We're By the way, my mother, you would think, was done so dirty <laughs> in her marriage. Right? Don't you think? The way she talks about it? The way she talks about other men. It's like, you're so scarred, but you had a beautiful marriage. Right. Oh, that's because you're never going to find that man again. <laughs> that's true. Okay, <laughs> so when it comes to travel, we all have that happy place we're always daydreaming about. Whether it's a snow-capped mountain, white sand beaches, or even a hometown visit, we all have that happy place. I know for myself, Easton, my mom, and I think Jessica too, that place just became Hawaii. We had such an amazing time there last fall that I think it's going to become a yearly trip. The beautiful beaches, the amazing food, and the fact that we completely chill. I'm not sure it gets any better than that. Whatever your happy place is, Priceline wants to get you there for a happy price. So you never have to miss a trip. So we rented our car in Hawaii through Priceline. And if I told you how much money we saved, you would not believe me. And did you know that when you bundle and save with Priceline, you can save up to $625 when you book your flights and hotels together. Just use Priceline and simply book your entire trip in one place. They truly have deals you can't find anywhere else. So download the Priceline app today to save up to 60% off select hotels and go to your happy price with Priceline. Brittany gets pulled up on stage. (sighs) I have never laughed so hard in my life. Stop. This entire weekend, it was just like, Belly, belly laughs to the point where when I would go to bed at night, baby S was like somersaulting (laughs) in my stomach. I was like, I have to go to bed. You've got to calm down in there. Like, it's enough already. She's going to be so funny. She was continuing the party all night long. So the guy pulls Brittany up there and she's just tits this night, right? She's just a full on tits, worried about her nip slipping. I was like, don't worry about it. You look stuffed in there. You look fine. (laughs) He throws her on the bed. She's got her her hands tied like this. Then he rips the ties off of her hands and then turns around and touches his dick with it. Okay? And then puts it on wait, her eyes. You, wait. His, puts it on her eyes. Put his eyes. dick on her eyes? I'd be like, oh. no. <laughs> his dick rag. It was just that he Hi. just touched ever so slightly on his penis. But was his penis out? No, 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 no. He had so jeans on. So did he on. shove them down? Oh. He, he yeah. shoved it down. <laughs> yeah. and she he shoved was okay the rag with it. down. I would have been she like, didn't no, know. no, no, germs, germs. She didn't know. She, he was facing away from her when he did it. So, so he we just were, put his dick juices on her face? I, Stop. I, I, his dick sweat because he's been you. sweating You're in jeans. his dick off. I think he had something on underneath. Yeah. By the way, I highly recommend it. Now it's sweat. on her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he had something to trap the sweat. So when he stuck it down there, it was a good, nice You guys, lather. I'm kidding. I love Thunder Down Under. That was one of the most fun interviews. And now, no, yeah. it's, by the way, the funnest show I've been to yes. in a very long time. Did you have fun? <laughs> Just listen. <What? laughs> he then whips around. Okay, this is before he put the eye, the eye <laughs> things on. And he's dancing on her. Dancing. A little jolty. Again, yeah. doesn't have much rhythm. But looking like that, 6'7", no rhythm. I don't give a shit. You are Paul Bunyan, ready to, like, break down trees with your bare fucking hands. Well, that's what's hot about him. A lot of these guys, just so you know, which they told us on the interview, don't they don't need dance experience. They just have to be Australian. But anyway, keep going. Oh. Wow. It was fantastic. Yeah. That's a pretty easy So day. then 
He hangs onto the bed because it's got boat bed pose. Oh, no. and, he's, <laughs> and then he puts, he whips his legs <gasps> around it, around it. So he's swinging and he goes forward. And then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hits Brittany. <laughs> he swings forward. <laughs> Did she fall over? <laughs> no. Oh my god! But, but Kurt, who we had on the podcast, yeah. recorded from the perfect angle. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> is she blindfolded or no? Not yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not yet. Which is even better because you can see the what her eyes do. <laughs> yeah. I need to see this like, video. Did you guys cry? So, laugh? so I I couldn't breathe I the lost entire. My show and you should have seen Ugh. our table i don't know why they felt it necessary to bring the pregnant girl like 14 sparkling waters that looked like vodka sodas <laughs> like i looked lit i looked wasted the way i was laughing and the way i was chugging these like vodka soda looking drinks sure they're like there's no way she's going on six years <laughs> There's no way. There's no fucking like, way. Look at her pregnant ass. So Jen, <laughs> she vodka they, goes to Vegas one. She's killing. <laughs> the hell's going she on? She relapsed during <laughs> pregnancy. Who she was. <laughs> no. So then Brittany comes down. They with now- a concussion <laughs> <laughs> and an STD. Oh my god, I can't breathe. We love Thunder Down Under. Keep okay, going. so then it was the greatest show, you guys. Highly yeah. recommend. Please go. You'll <sighs> you'll laugh, but also leave pretty horny. So <laughs> then they call this bride to be up. Okay, okay. and clearly she's on Molly. <laughs> Okay, because okay. she's turned like this. You guys are the audience. So her chair is like this, right? And she's got a white shirt on. Like, not a shirt, but like a white tube top, matching white skirt, and it's got the rhinestone fringe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> With the bride-to-be sash and and the, the fake veil. veil. Okay, she's killing it. But he's dancing on her, and she's looking at us like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, one of these. <laughs> the jaw got going. <laughs> she got doing it. Oh. <laughs> so then he flips her chair around towards us. Now we're frontal, okay? Oh. <laughs> Rips her legs open. It's just labia. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't wearing panties. She has no undies on. No, and fucking fridge rhinestones over it. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Oh my Send me god, the it was video. like a vagina show. The labia peeking through the fridge. <laughs> oh, was it a, oh my was god. It, was it a good one or was I it like cannot. an Arby's number two? Oh no. <laughs> Why is she wearing no underwear with a skirt? I'm sorry. It's so <laughs> sexual. But just roll with this podcast. It's but, so funny. Hold on funny. here. And she's getting married and she's going out panty lit. What? Uh, a, one of the tips they gave yeah, us on the show was guy. wear pants. Didn't they say wear pants? Oh, I'm thinking of Housewives. Never Maybe mind. the Molly. Yeah, I, I thought forgot. the same thing. I'm I thought the same thing. It was excellent. Oh. I highly recommend. I, 10 out of, 10 I out of 10. am so disappointed <laughs> that I missed I, this. I'm so happy for you. Yes. Wow. But then this... I'm happy that that happened because about five minutes prior to labia, um, we got the news that <laughs> Lovers and Friends was being canceled, which you were supposed to come, Jessica. You Jessica guys, calls me on yeah. the flight. We're talking about whatever we're talking about. Probably, I think we were talking shit on someone. We definitely <laughs> were. And she's like, I wish I would have seen the lineup before. I'm on the plane, Southwest, by the way, um, ready to take off. And Jessica said, I wish I would have seen the lineup because I would have for sure gone. Mm -hmm. So I am I tell Jessica, I not only have an extra ticket to Lovers and Friends, I have a room for you. You guys, this lineup was absolutely incredible. Everything. It was everything. Lala's like, oh my God, I have a room for you. I have an extra ticket. VIP, come on down. You bet your bottom dollar. I was like, done. Done. Yeah. Do you know what I did, right? No. Because tell us. you guys, I love my sweet, sweet, sweet 2015 Jeep Patriot. Um, a basic model, but basic model, basic <laughs> model not a not a bell or a whistle a on the thing, not a single bell or whistle in sight. <laughs> um, I love her, but I don't trust her to bring me all the way to Vegas. I rented a car. Oh, no. You owe her Jessica. money, and I was like, guys, I'm well because I get time anxiety. Did you post about it? 
No, what do you mean? Post about it. Well, did you? were you like, guys, I just got my <laughs> rental. I'm going to Lovers and Friends. I wish I did. <laughs> did you get a cut to Just me turning crying. around. <laughs> me headed crying, home. driving home. No, I'm headed home. No, you guys, I was, so I was only, thank God I run late. I was only an hour and a half outside of LA. So I turned around. You did turn around. I was, I was upset about was it. Sad. It would have been fun. Because we went from, Coachella, which was fabulous, but I'll be honest, I didn't know not a one person in the lineup. I knew No Doubt. I knew Lana Del Rey. I know of Doja Cat. Couldn't tell you what she sings. Mm-hmm. Or doesn't she say, Bitch, yeah, I, I said, said what, what I, I said. said. Is that it? I'd rather think- be. No, she sings a lot. She sings, will you kiss me more? Oh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't care for that song much. She's str- she's She's got a lot of hits. She's strange. She is strange. I love a strange bitch in I music, know. though. She's got a, a lot of hits. Also, she raps and sings beautifully. No. Excellent. Beautifully. Yeah. I'm not mad one bit at her for her music or as a performer. I just am not familiar. So when I say I'm not a fan, it just means that I don't know much. Mm, mm-hmm. I could be a fan. I just don't know much. But I knew those people didn't know anyone else. Stagecoach. Knew a few people. Didn't know everybody. This lineup for Lovers and Friends, I knew every single person. The next day comes when Lovers and Friends is supposed to take place. Not, not a wind in sight. Are not you a, joking? Not a wind in sight. <gasps> yeah. Okay, do you think they'll reschedule that? Because I'm so, I want to go so bad. 100% no. And you know, even though I was bummed. Yeah. I was looking at the Instagram page. There were people that had like just landed from Japan. Yeah. Okay, so I'm like, I'm not going to complain about mm-hmm. the 45 minute flight that I just took. Yep. People were flying from all over the place. Mm-hmm. That's really sad. They wouldn't. Did you guys reschedule. get reimbursed like tickets? How does that work? Who knows? The, do they, producer John? I'm sure. Yeah. So basically, they stated in the statement on Instagram that they'll get reimbursed within the 30 days. And this actually happened to me at when we were young two years ago, the first mm. year. Thankfully, Lala, you had a night's notice. I was on the way to the festival when they canceled when we were young due to the uh, wind. But, but don't you think? That that's actually better because you're driving there being like, it's canceled because it's clearly unsafe. Like, they're canceling the night before and then there's no wind. That's infuriating. Producer John, you, it canceled when we were young the day of? The day of. I was oh. in, I, it was so funny. I was going old school warp Tour style for all my punk people. Mm. I, I, my uh. parents were in Vegas. They were staying on the strip. So they were taking my buddies and I down to the festival grounds. Mm. And it, we got the notification that it got canceled. It was like 9.15 in the morning. And doors were supposed to open at 11. I would have cried. I would have I would have cried. cried, too. Well, good. it's a good thing, though. Just in case of an emergency in Vegas, I brought my jujitsu bag. So I would have <laughs> been fine because I would have gone to a jujitsu class. But that's I didn't make it. So instead, mm-hmm. while you would have been jujitsuing, this yeah, is what I do? did. Tell, tell us. And I would have made you skip jujitsu. <laughs> I would have skipped. To well. go to the drag show. I have been very open with you guys about my hair struggles between pregnancy hormones, then bleaching it all the time. They really did a number on my hair. And then I'd also start stressing out about how those things did a number on my hair. And that did not help the situation. I have baby number two on the way. And I'm already being proactive with my hair thanks to Nutrafol. Nutrafol was recommended to me after I had Ocean, and by the way, it is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. And I am definitely one of those people. You can take the Nutrafol hair wellness quiz on Nutrafol.com for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes, because I know we all have different hair journeys. I am aware of that. And Nutrafol makes building a hair growth routine so much easier Purchase online, no prescription required. You get free shipping and automatic deliveries so that you never miss a day. And you'll see results in three to six months. So take the first step for visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering Give Them Lala listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter promo code LALA. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com, promo code LALA. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code LALA. Sheena hosted a drag show. Fun. It was beyond fabulous. There's this woman, Fantasia Royale Gaga. Mm-hmm. Gaga. Gaga. 
Giga. And her boobs are probably this big. <gasps> big titties. We love big titties. Fan and already. When she left, when the show was over, because she's the host, but she's also a performer and she's fabulous. She said, and remember, what happens in Vegas stays in my tits. Bye. <laughs> and I was like, it does, because the amount of shit that she would pull from there was wild. Like what? Money, money, dogs, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> airplanes, <Clowns. laughs> private jets, <laughs> <laughs> handing them out. No, well, it was great. Oprah with her tits. What else did you guys do? Did you just do the drag show and then? No, so we did the drag show. Yeah. Sheena had me on a jam packed day. As okay? she should. Happy birthday, Sheena. It was a happy birthday, Sheena, for sure. Mm. So we go to the drag show. Then we go to Zook for Snoop Dogg, mm -hmm. where I watched three women shake their fabulous asses with zero cellulite, all real, no makeup on, the hottest bitches I've ever seen in my life. Love. Um, it was great. Fun. It was great. Fun. I rubbed my bump uh, listening to all of his hits. Explosive West Coast shit. And I rubbed, I rubbed my bump. Did you twerk your bump and your ass at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> if I were capable of doing that, <laughs> I would tried. have. Baby S is in there getting down. She's so excited. Baby S is going to have fabulous music taste. Yeah. Okay. Um, from there, we went to Pop Stroke, which is a mini golf place. Okay. Except it's not like mini golf where they have all of those obstructions that you have to hit through. Mm -hmm. It's almost more like putting, to be honest. Okay. With like maybe little hills and then like a rock. Okay. So it's not crazy like mini golf. It was so much fun. I don't know why I did so well. <gasps> it's owned by Tiger Woods. No, I fucking killed it. You did? Did you yeah. win? So Sheena's like, you only won by one because this girl screamed and was <laughs> wishing me luck at two holes and yeah. she jinxed me. Whore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whore. <laughs> she jinxed me. So I had two bad holes in a row. Okay. Two bad holes in a row? Two bad holes been in a row. There. That is never good. I've been never. there. Been in that <laughs> boat. <laughs> no. What is okay. wrong with us? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, um, yes. And, and you so, still won by a point. Yeah. And she goes, you you only beat me by one. And like I told her, winning is winning. Sorry. Sorry. Did you win any prize or money? No, just the experience. We went with um, Courtney, who's Sheena's sister, mm -hmm. her boyfriend, Justice, and his dad. Cute. It was so cute, so fun. From there, we went to Absinthe, which oh another 10 out of 10 show. I've seen it three times now, but it's always different because there's like a comedy aspect mm -hmm. where the guy pokes fun at people in the audience. And I was... Again, dying, <laughs> rolling, laughing. The weekend just was me gut laughing and cackling like a crazy person. That's so fun. Is absinthe a Cirque du Soleil thing or no? That's a different thing. Different thing. Okay. Got different it, thing it, entirely. Okay. Amazing. It's at Caesars. From there, we go back to the hotel. She tells me she's got a little bit more energy. So she's going to go back to the nightclub. I said, you're out of your mind. I'm going straight to bed, which is what I did. She comes home a little tipsy, which I love, drunk Sheena. We talk for a bit, go to bed, wake up. I come home to my baby, and I'm thrilled to be there. So that was my weekend. That's exciting. Congratulations for another fun, exciting weekend for you. It was mm -hmm. great. You're out it was and about. Great. In the uh, one-page news today. Which we haven't looked at. You reminder. By producer John. Is the end of TikTok in the United States near? President Biden signed a bill into law that will ban TikTok in the U.S., if its Chinese owner, ByteDance, can't or won't find a buyer within a year. TikTok earlier this year encouraged users to campaign against the bill and called measure and called the measure unconstitutional and will challenge it in court. Why? What's what's wrong with the TikTok? I don't know. Well, because it's giving. Here's what I heard. You guys, this is it this is not to be taken as fact. I'm just stating what I've gathered. Okay. That TikTok is allowing other countries to get inf very personal information if it's on anyone's phone. So apparently, someone told me, if I'm in the house, same house as Kyle, and we're on the same Wi-Fi, and okay. I have TikTok, right. but he does not use it because he's like, oh, I don't want anyone to have access to whatever. Apparently, TikTok could still access 
our internet. Like because, the IP? Yes, because he uses the same Wi-Fi. Like there's things in there that basically show they get way too much access and, and America doesn't want that because, you know, there's just a lot of problems that could come with Should that. I be worried about TikTok? Get it off my phone. I, I know it's too late. I'm, I wouldn't worry oh, at all. Okay. It's too late. It might be banned. And also, banned, banned. Also, I think it's going to find a buyer within a year. But you I don't think, think the yes. guy's wanting to buy uh, He doesn't sell it. want to. That's the problem. And it says yeah. TikTok's yeah. president of global business solutions, Blake Chandler. Is it Chandler or Chandley? Chandley. Mm. Okay. Chandley. I want you to know that. I'm going to call you Chandler. Just kidding. <laughs> I said, uh, I said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, I want you to know that we are not backing down. Wow. Take a stance, Blake. I guess you could be selling this for so much money. Yeah, but he's billions making and so billions much. Billions and billions. Yeah, that's true. Billions and maybe even more. Have you done your Mother's Day shopping yet? Friendly reminder, use Rakuten. Rakuten is the shopping platform to save while you shop. And this week, May 6th through May 13th, Rakuten is having their biggest cashback event of the entire year. You get 15% cash back at hundreds of stores. I'm talking Adidas, Splendid, Ray-Ban, Elf Cosmetics, Dermastore, Lego, Stanley, and even Dyson. New Dyson vacuum for me and the new house. Yes, I am treating myself and enjoying some serious cash back. I love seeing those Rakuten cash back deposits in my PayPal account. Rakuten will also send you a check if you don't have PayPal. So join the 15 million members, including me, who are already saving with Rakuten. Membership is free, and when you sign up and shop today, you get an extra 10% cashback boost. That's an extra 10% cashback on top of the 15% cashback. You will not see higher cashback rates than these. So go to Rakuten.com or download the Rakuten app. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Shoppers get it. Dave and Buster's to allow betting. Yeah! Oh, Dave and Buster's is <laughs> oh, going to yeah! walk off. Houston. A little too excited about it. I know. Wow. I love a Wait, good Dave why are you so betting. excited about it? Do you like D&B? Oh, put some money down. <gasps> I can go shoot around for a minute. Feel like I'm part of the Can the we action. take a Give Them Lala pod trip to D&B? Yes. Dave and Buster's, if you hear this. Wait, so you Do can something. bet on the games inside Dave and Buster? Yeah, so basically, Depending let's say, location. Lala, you and Easton were doing the basketball game. Jess and I can bet who would win that between you two. Oh, so it's between... Wait, is I this, like this something even. that's going to have so to like, be like... So, like, not on like, sports. Not, like, on, like, college no, or NBA. No, it's on games it's on in us. Dave & Buster's. You do it through the app. That It's going to come out in, like, July, I believe. So now the next couple you months. can go, and then, like, all of us, and then if you and Lisa are playing air hockey, me and Lauren can bet on who's going to win. <gasps> and that makes it even more fun, because if I bet on Lisa and she fucks me over, we're going to have issues. Oh my Losing god, I money. love this. I could fuck everyone up in air hockey. All right, I'm betting on you. I love that. See? Really? Oh my god, the air hockey. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> if me playing the hockey game on Mario Party is any indication of how I would be in air hockey, you play. would kick my ass. Really? I don't think she'd be very good. I no, thought you were going to say I would, I, you would kill me, and then I was like, we got a game. No, I make the points for you. You don't even need to try. <laughs> <laughs> she, and then it comes back. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happens. We should go though. Every time. I want to go. I don't know that I can bet you guys. It scares me to we like win to up, like lose up. It's penny. betting between friends. I'm sorry if you're that lost up that you lost 15 bucks. We'll Venmo you back. Oh, Give that's yourself fine. like a fifty dollar <laughs> fifty <Mac>. dollars. <laughs> that's what I do 50. in Vegas. Give myself a max, that's and I'm Vegas. like, I'm not Dave and spending. Busters. 10 to 15. <laughs> yeah. No, I also, do, I got to pay for the game. I don't give myself a $50 budget in Vegas, Easton. I do a little more than that. I'm not a square. You, can, uh, you I guys, don't do that at all. I walk by the table and I'm like, 20 bucks, 50. Max. I'll just go and buy a <laughs> penny fruit <slots>. snack. <laughs> penny slots. Not even those. <laughs> not even those. Oh, good for you, D&Bs. Um, Bumble. Basically, what they did is, remember how it was women were supposed to make the first move yeah. on it? They took that, that feature's no longer. What women can do is you can put an opening move on your profile, and if you match with somebody, the man can can answer that question to initiate the conversation. So it's still in the the woman's court, the ball. They yeah. have to give you, like... Approval to reach out to them first. No, 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 no. So basically, what? No. So it's still on the. It's still normal. But if you okay. match with, so let's say like we matched and you had a a prompt like, "What is your favorite TV show?" I have the chance to answer that without you 
actually messaging me first. So I can message you first oh. instead of the women messaging first. Cause that was the whole point of Bumble was women were supposed to reach out first and make the first initial contact. I but, enjoy it, it. It, it, but in the article, they said women uh, it said it became too much work and too much of a burden. So uh, that, now you know how men feel, huh? Yeah. So wow, too much of a burden. This is the second podcast in a row that you're yeah. fucking with equality. Sexist, I tell you. Sexist. Misogynist. No, now you just no, know. You guys are you guys are like, <laughs> wow, reaching out to men is really terrible. No, I kind of okay, but here's my question. It's like Are uh, we so men can answer the prompt? But yeah. then are we, you can I to. still ignore him? Like, I don't want to talk to this man who yeah. just answered my prompt. Yes. Oh, well, great. So we still get to control. Yeah, you yeah. still control. Control it's the narrative. It's all about control, ladies. But you might like the Keep answer it. to your question and yeah. you're like, mm, he's, uh, he's funny. Okay. Right. I mean, it's still very much driven by the woman. Yes. And, but they're allowing you to make the first move, but it's not going to be awkward because like four different men could answer. And you could be like, I like John's the best. Mm. But I'm still not going to reach out to John. Or you may reach out to John. Or you may. I have to I have to say, sometimes if I was on Bumble and I matched with a guy or made the first move and I didn't hear anything back, my ego might be a little dinged. So I kind of mm. like this. But don't they, you have to match up before you can reach out. Yes. So oh, they would have to match it's up. Not like, it's not like going to a bar and shooting your shot. It's like, mm. okay, I like, you've matched with this person. You're both interested. He can answer the question. Oh, okay. Yeah, so instead of the woman reaching out first, the man can answer the question to initiate the conversation. But the women can also still reach out first with the message, uh, even when they still match, if the man doesn't answer the prompt. I like that. Congratulations, Bumble. What a great what a good growth move. and change. But I, what I like about it is that Bumble do, didn't just make this change. They were asking for feedback from the women who are using the app. Mm-hmm. And the women gave their feedback, and this is what they gathered and went in and made the change. Yeah. Um, I was reading messages from my friend who's, like, on an app where it's more, it's, like, norm, one mm. of the normal dating apps. Mm. Not run by the chick or whatever. Which she ended up, when I read the messages, she did end up switching over to Bumble. But it was, like, how does anybody, I mean, this is a dating app. This isn't the DMs and the it looked the message the messaging between the two of them it looked like it was just DMs like casual you mean or like sexting like no just like very like nothing there it's like both of you are on this app to find your person and you're obviously engaging with each other but it's boring yeah. this is like messaging it looks like one of you is looking for the other one to send like a Dick or Dick vagina pick. Oh. Or bo- a boob pick. Hmm. They Very... just needed to go to Thunder Down Under. <laughs> mm. No, gets... but that's not what the app is for. Mm. It's like you're both wanting to date, and why are you communicating with each other like this? Like you're on Instagram. Sometimes I feel like I might not be right. I've never used a dating app in my life. Sometimes I feel like it's another thing to do. Like, you have an app and you just hop on. Like, I see it in girlfriends and they'll just, like, swipe, swipe, swipe. And I'm like, we're at dinner. What are you doing? That's, like, it's just, like, mindless. You know how Instagram, you kind of open the app and you scroll through? It's a, just another, like, mindless thing. It's, mm. just a, it's like a hit of dopamine. Oh, you yeah. think that that's yeah, what it's turned yeah. into? Well, sometimes, or specific apps, maybe. I feel like Bumble, you have to put a little more thought because you're the woman, but like other apps where it's like. But I feel like if men are signing up for Bumble, they're like mm-hmm. at, like really, really down for partnership because That's they are true. signing up and they know what the drill is on Bumble. Yes. I'm talking maybe more like another one. Others that we won't that mention we won't. on the podcast. Christian Mingle. Oh, Christian Mingle, you're definitely getting Christian a Mingle, uh, you don't have a husband. What about J-Date? What's J-Date? J-Date? Isn't that Jewish? <laughs> Oh, is that is Isn't it? Isn't that the Jewish one? Good. I don't know. They got one too. I Good. don't know if it's There's called JJ. There is. Uh, Farmers only. Farmers only. Oh yeah, that's where you want to find a man. Thank my if you want to find a Jersey. man who just loves Take bail. Take me on a ride on your big green tractor. That means a dick. It does. I, I don't thought know. It meant John Deere. No. It's I think a it's John Deere. Who's a John Deere truck? <laughs> what? Whose dick is have green? you seen is big and green? The one? No, I'm not gonna Shrek. Make that joke. Another thing on the Give Them Lala podcast trip: Vegas to Thunder Down Under, with a live show there. Oh, what a live podcast show! Mm-mm. In T-Mobile Arena. <laughs> <laughs> 
Opening for Thunder Down Under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we opened for Shoot th- for the stars. Can I tell you, though, when we went up, because we got a picture with all the dudes, mm-hmm. and I felt like I'm uncomfortable in the presence of, of men. men. Yeah. Men yeah. or men with their shirts off? No, just men. Because I'm a Shut boy. <laughs> They're men. That's that's not true. It's you're my brother, so of course I feel comfortable. I've been with well, no, you. Well, no, yeah, I'm talking about. We used like, to take baths me. together. Like, um, uh, not now. You know, though. like Let's get that they stopped that five years ago. <laughs> Everyone relax. <laughs> no, when you're baby, when you're little tiny tots, you guys. Everyone, calm the fuck down. How many times have I dropped the ass? By the way, the last podcast that we did was so good. We rarely cussed. We did. Mm-hmm. This one, we turned. It's not you guys. It's more me. Well, I mm. kind of went I'm heavy little, with Lisa's I'm a story. a little tired. But what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I, it was weird because then Sheena was like, I'll stand next to you. And we looked like a little couple. You and Sheen? Yeah. And oh. I immediately like my shoulders weren't stiff anymore. It's weird. Why? Did you feel weird like a guy having his arm around you or something? I just, I don't know. I think I'm just, I think I just overthink everything. Yeah. Interesting. It is interesting. But you had fun. She hates men. It's no. It's, <laughs> it's definitely not. She that. loves men. We love men. On the I've Kids I've come podcast. in contact with like really great men, and it's wild because I'm I have no interest in dating mm. <laughs> the great men. So I have two game changers to share with you when it comes to upping your glam game. I am totally obsessed with Impress No Glue Mannies and Impress Press On False Eyelashes because I'm very into just easy right now and anyone can do it. You are going to love them just as much as I do. Both require zero glue, so there is no damage to your natural nails and lashes. There's also no annoying dry time. And the best part, zero mess. One step and you're done. The lash style options are endless, and there are so many on-trend nails to choose from. Impress, no glue manis, and press-on falsies are the easiest and fastest way to upgrade your look in just minutes. The press-on falsies have a unique under-lash application for a totally seamless look and are made with an exclusive self-stick technology that keeps them secure for up to 24 hours. The Impress Manis have a patented super hold adhesive for up to seven days secure hold. And that's perfect for all of you busy mamas out there who don't have a lot of time to spend on glam but want to look your best. I completely get it. Impress No Glue Manis and Impress No Glue Press on Falsies are absolutely a beauty must. You need to try them right now. So get yours today at impressbeauty.com slash lala. And use code LALA at checkout for 25% off Impress Manicure and Press on Falsies. That's impressbeauty.com slash LALA and use code LALA at checkout for 25% off. You guys, I'm You're giving a- birth so soon. No, it's, you, I go home for, for my sister's uh, bridal shower in June and she was like, oh yeah, and then you'll be flying home a couple months later when I have the baby. And I was like, LALA and Katie are having their babies four months. That's no time, you guys. That's fall. That's the end of summer. Oh. There's going to be a little baby with little feet. Oh, but the good thing is we get a winter, the winter months. Well, with you the have baby. Hibernate. You have fall first. You've yeah, got all can, of fall. Yeah, but we pretend that's winter. <gasps> You're going to be able to dress it up for Halloween. Halloween. I know. A little pumpkin of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know what we're going to be. A it's going to be corn. the three of us. Oh. Uh, Oh, you guys you should be a group. Something. A four of you. Lise doesn't dress up. Lise can dress oh, up one, if two, she wants. Three, four. Yeah. Be something like four. Be like the Ninja Turtles or Spice Girls or something. Yeah, you guys should do something that's like a, a little. You could team. be Sporty Spice. I loved Sporty Spice because she was always in sweats. Did you guys see that? Um, speaking of dark, uh, the woman, the bland, what's her name? Um, Gypsy Rose went to Sir. Stop it. Yeah. She went to Sir. <laughs> my she posted. Okay, did she fly? Where did she did fly? Did she listen my to our podcast? Cole, one of the gays posted a selfie with her. What? what? One of your gays? <laughs> one of yes, Adam and Cole, the ones who got where? married in Italy. He was. She was on his flight. And what? She, he From said, where? "I met my hero." <laughs> <laughs> and it was so him he and wants her. to kill his mother too. <laughs> <laughs> it was him and her. I on met my hero. Yeah, and he was like, what? "Him and Gypsy Rose, Cole." What a blonde. She's fully famous. Oh, fully. And For she murder. was like, you could tell too. <laughs> you could tell her vibe was very much like another fan. She was like, like very oh! much like another fan. Like just a little head yeah. pop and like. Yes. Like, Sick okay, of it. Moving on. 
in all fairness, she's not the one that did it. Oh, her mother. The did The boyfriend. It to the boyfriend did okay, it. Okay, someone she sat commented. in the other room. Is that true? Her boyfriend killed her. Did he her? get jail time? He's still in prison. What? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. She about was that. not actually. She was. Uh, the too brains weak. behind the operation. But she okay. was too weak. But the court system doesn't acknowledge the brains behind the operation mm. as the actual murderer. So she was in jail for a long time still. Yes. And granted, she was so mentally abused by this woman that I think that's why they were like, it has less to, it, like, I don't think it would have happened. I'm sure she went through so many psych evaluations. Mm. There's no way. They didn't just say, like, oh, let's let her out. Well, yeah. yeah. Can I tell you? Okay, I need someone to look up what kind of car Jelly Roll's daughter got. What kind of car? Because I'm seeing a headline that said Jelly Roll's daughter, Bailey, gets her first car at 16, and her choice is surprising. What her heart desires. I hope it was something like a Prius. It's not. It's I hope like, it was it looks a 2015 like, it's like a Jeep Ford F-150. It's, oh. It, well, maybe. It looks big. A white GMC Sierra 1500 truck. Can I see what that looks like? No. Please. Um. Yeah, I thought they'd have a picture of it, but here we go. Oh, that's not surprising. If she got like a big truck, like Jelly Roll's daughter, of course. Is so it- Jelly Roll is not on social media because people were body shaming him too much. Losers. Not and then- Jelly Roll people. People, are, yeah, it's a pretty truck. Not the biggest too. fan of the person at the, the moment. person, uh, just the people as a just collective. Like that. I'm guessing she got like the upgraded model and oh, stuff. Oh like, yeah, let me see. Let no. me see. She's like country. From yeah. Broom, that's, that's badass. Country. Yeah, that's Easton awesome. and I were talking. If I had like wealth, where you have a fleet of cars, mm-hmm. I don't think ah. I would ever. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a super cut of every time Ethan hits one of his extremities on the desk. Please. I didn't know there was a cabinet down there with a handle. Oh, my God. It's first the time? knee now. Yeah, that was the first one. Usually Ooh, it's the Oh, that elbow. was the first one. The knee. Oh <laughs> it's usually the there. elbow. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> All right. Keeping it Sorry exciting. To what were we talking about? Um, Don't know. Jelly roll truck. You, your dream truck, car. If I were wealthy, I wouldn't have sports cars. I actually think sports cars are really lame. Mm-hmm. I've had the. Did you fart? <laughs> oh, I just kicked. I kicked the thing. I gotta straighten out this knee for a sec. Do your thing. Do your thing. I'm gonna talk about SUVs. <laughs> Let it rip. Um, <laughs> I would have a fleet. Yeah. Of SUVs. Okay. Okay. I this. Like I think like the, the president. Like the cyber truck. Is so stupid. Oh, I hate but it. But I would buy one. You would. If yes. you had the money, yeah. I'd you have would. like a Ford. Is there such thing as a Ford three F three fifty? Sounds big. An F, I, maybe. There's I such thing as a Ford F one fifty. Yeah, there's an F one fifty, F two fifty, F. I think Ford there is an F three fifty. Three fifty. Can't think confirm there's one. You can. Then I would get that. That's a big papa. Let's see. Yeah. I would have big papa. Are you like this, though, with the wheels and all? Oh, So yes. you can get it dually in that the back? That might be a little too big. I'm thinking Ford F-150, big papa. What are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, what are you pulling with yeah, this law? Pull up. You can and I have one of those, like, also do it like giant this, where it's bands. Not do you remember? Back. It's not dually. No. Look up Ford F-150. I'd get one of those. You get a, just a, you'd get a Raptor. I'd have, I'd have a Raptor. A Ford F-150 Raptor. That's what you'd get. That's, that's what I'd like, get. Yeah, that's, that's what I'd get. See, you like the square. I like the square. I think I would get a white Bronco. I'd have a Bronco old yeah. school. Maybe I, I just need, it. I want three cars, I think, four, or four. That's all I need. Oh, um, that's all. Well, that's yeah, all. I mean, but you're saying Ford F one fifty. I want a cyber truck. I want We'd this. Be from the new, like yeah. with the wheels. That'd the be new so Range sick. Rover. See, uh, oh, just four. She's named Cole, six. No. Yeah. See, Cullinan, Mercedes S class, race. Car, I don't like cars. And then either a truck or I like sports cars, so I get like a McLaren seven twenty. I'd get a limo. <laughs> oh, you, a you white would. one? Would you get a white I'd limo? Get a classic limo, the classic car one, and drive that around everywhere. Oh, you'd be the driver too. I would. That would be in that baller. hat. In this hat, I'd I hop in the limo, ladies and gents, and nobody would want and to. Gloves. So I'd be in there by myself all the time. Oh, I'd be in there with you. You, you I'd have to the have front. the gloves for the white Bronco. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. No. 
But um, back to Jelly Roll. So he got off social media. Now it's come out. His high, high-end high escort wife, who's very beautiful. That's Wait. how he met her. She's a high... Bad Bunny? What, what, what's her um, name? <laughs> Bad Bunny, I think, is a rapper. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> He's a, a male rapper. No, um, Bunny XO. XO. Okay. She's beautiful. But um, I think she came out saying that they're also in an open relationship. Okay. And her response to the trolls was, y'all insecure. Oh, I see her. Okay, this is Jelly Roll's wife. Oh my God, they are so cute. Yeah. Oh, she's I love lovely. Jelly Roll. Sorry. And I want him to open a church because I'd go to it. He should open a church and live stream on Sunday. I showed Laura the, her, his Congress speech. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, go look it up. About Kills fentanyl. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, he's incredible. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Wow, this episode is weird. I don't I know like where it, we're though. at. We're all weekend. over the place. I like it. You know, we have another um, news piece. Oh, let, will you read it, Jess? Yes. Sorry. New California law will ban restaurant surcharges and hidden fees. Didn't Under know we were SB paying them. Fo- yeah, me either. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Under they've SB. been hidden. They've been hidden fees. That's yeah. why you didn't hidden know about them. Hidden fees. Um, restaurants will no longer be able to charge service fees and will instead have to fold those charges into menu prices. Perfect. Price State attorney said these deceptive fees. Oh, this is like, okay. State attorney Rob Bonta said, these deceptive fees prevent us from knowing how much we will be charged at the outset. They are bad for consumers and bad for competition. They cost Americans tens of billions of dollars each year. The new law is set to go into effect into effect in July. Tens of billions. What are these charges? All of us together are really fucking wealthy. Like, if you combine yeah. everyone's uh, net worth, we're all very, very rich. And at what yes. point do we stick our middle finger up to the man and say, fuck this, we're not paying for shit? Uh, we should, and then we'll end up in jail, though. I feel like They a can't lot of house people- all of us. They can't house That's all so of us. That's so true. That's so true. I would like to stop paying taxes, please, because I just paid taxes. I will say, but Family Guy does that. There's an episode of Family Guy no, where I know. they don't want to they- do it, and then at the very end, Peter goes, how about we just... I'll give a little bit of money and then it's just taxes again. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that might be it. We all no, it's a genius. <laughs> Family Guy breaks down like how the government started and then they wipe it out. Yeah. And Everything turns to shit. Yeah, everything goes, turns horrific. <laughs> and and then like, Peter, how about we all pay? And he goes, how about we we'll all just give a little bit of money here so we can keep this nice and then we'll give a little money here and everybody's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, so just taxes? Taxes again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's before we move on to the ache and relief speaking of really funny shit if you have not watched Easton made me listen to it on the way home oh, from Palm Springs yeah. what Andrew Santino cheeseburger do you know th- yes it's called cheeseburger. cheeseburger it's his stand up that from 2022 but it just was released on Netflix last year okay it is so funny I can't <laughs> breathe I have not watched it you told me to watch it and I've added it to my list because I love him by the way he, his podcast he's on a which couple. one He's on, is he, is he on the friends? King, the Sting, and the Wayne, so or is it Bad Friends? He's, he's, on, bad he's friends. on Bad, bad Friends. friends okay. But he also has, and that's his with uh, Bobby Lee, right? Um, and then yes. he also just has, like, his own. I only know Bad, bad Friends, friends Bobby because and it's Kalila. so great. Yeah. It's so funny. And Bobby and Kalila used to date and aren't together anymore and are, like, the best of friends. No, they, I don't know what. Really? Yeah, it's really everything cute. everything that they yeah. have going, the, like, chemistry between all of them is so funny. It's well, so the fun. shit that well, if, the if that you, Andrew can say and get away with. If like, you <laughs> were to yes. take what they say and insert it into our mouths, we would be canceled and not have a job, and we would have to uh, create an underground tunnel. Two seconds. Um, in and two and seconds. live in there forever. Oh yes, but they are comedians. There it is. Well, so am I. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish up with my favorite topic of probably the entire year, which it. is. Drake and Kendrick. Can you Easton. please update us? I Easton can update knows you guys. everything. I will. Here's the thing. I am going to get out my phone because... Have you been making notes? Um, I No, not that. really. Not at all. Producer honestly. John sent us um, an article as well. Yeah, just for the songs because I do want to like get them correct when they were released mm. because KDOT talked shit on the big three, mm. Drake, J. Cole. Mm-hmm. And in that, in a verse with... Who's the third? Well, K-Dot, who's rapping. Big three. Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick. And oh. that's when he was saying, like, fuck the big three. Oh. It's just only big me. So that's what started it. It was over a girl, from what I've 
Is it over a girl? I would feel so wild if I was that girl and had the She's big... A, isn't she an OnlyFans person? Yep. Who is she? Princess Diana or something? Something that in there. sounds like... But, so they dropped, like, multiple songs. Drake dropped um, push-ups. Mm-hmm. And then Taylor made mm. in like yeah, which a is week. excellent because Taylor made, which you guys will care about this part, is about Taylor Swift because he's under her label. Kendrick is, so she basically gets to decide when he can release, can release. when anyone can release new music. That's why Drake says Taylor Swift is the biggest gangster in music. She, by the way, I didn't even know she had her own label. What's well, it called? So, no, I think she's under, but, like, it's because her album just dropped, right? And he, Kendrick, from what I've read, he owes her a verse right now, and he owes Maroon 5 a verse because he's under a label, and that label is telling him that's what you got to do. Ooh. So all of those, and then he, I don't know if he did those verses just to get them out of the way so he could start releasing these, but then he released two songs, one of them was like Meet the Grams, and the other one was John Help Me Out. What was the first one he dropped? The one that Kendrick. Yeah, I thought it was he... Six Sixteen in L.A. Six yeah, Sixteen yeah. in L.A. It, it was Eu- It was and Euphoria then... and Six One Six. But the funny thing about the whole Taylor Swift thing is that on Six One Six, it was produced by Jack Antonoff, who produced, produced the, the Taylor album. Swift's latest album. Mm-hmm. And that's where I'm saying. And it's all making all the sense. I wish that I had a board here with. Oh, no, you the, need it. You need yeah. to connect the all the crazy, dots. Yeah, because the crazy, yeah, the connecting the thing, dots. Because everything, like, now I'm just waiting for Kendrick's response because now everything that they've been saying, in my opinion, is might be BS because Drake has a rat in... His camp? Not in... So in his, but he like also a has a rat, rat in... Yeah, he set a rat in Kendrick's camp. To feed him... So he's feeding him false information. So he fed him, like, a photo of, like, pills and all this stuff. And that it wasn't was even false. real. And so Dre- or Kendrick rapped about it. And then he, he, just, he had all this shit he had on all Drake. This stuff like, on Drake. pours his heart and soul pen to paper about all of these things he knows about Drake. And then Drake gets on. He's like, and then, you didn't care to investigate yeah. these things? And then Drake yesterday <laughs> released one. And it's called Something Six. Uh, the Heart Part Six. And in that, Drake says, you got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Yep. Be, and it, I like it because it's uh, Heart Part Six. And uh, Kendrick's was Heart Part Five. Right, but so the, now it's a it's still, but yeah, but six sixteen in L A was also a a big song for Drake. Like they're both doing yeah, that right no, now. No, yeah, they're just like playing back and forth and all of that. And then one thing to mention is, wasn't Kendrick releasing some of these songs like hours after Drake songs were coming yeah. out? Kendrick so Kendrick like already had them ready. No, yeah. they were, yes. And that's the thing. So like because that's where, he had to wait a chunk of time mm. after Drake's push ups and push up because of Taylor's album coming out and all of that like just like what he had to wait for oh yeah so oh, that now I, he's okay. finally okay. able like, drop now and give me 50. kendrick is finally able to release music and he was just doing he did three crazy, back crazy. to back do, do, oh do. so he's really been like doing his his yeah. shit and, and writing then, his but lyrics. it makes so, me sad because it's like <laughs> he went and did you, all of that and when then you drink. really break it down like kendrick is lyric and you'll even you can't co-sign on this lyrically He's incredible. Incredible. And he just spent all this time. And made bangers. Made but bangers. But it's all BS. But it's all BS. And then Drake is like, I, I love Drake. Last night, he just, he even said, he goes, Releases- we fed you information. He goes, we almost, we thought about feeding you a fake name and a fake location. You can't beat Kendrick mm-hmm. pad to paper or pen to paper. You're going to lose every time. But what Drake has over everybody is that pettiness. Yeah. And he just got the, fucked him up on pettiness. He's got the pettiness. bravo. So, he does. And that's where I'm like, okay. That's so why now, he follows Lisa Rinna. <laughs> <laughs> he follows Rinna on Instagram. So, like, that's what I'm saying. And, like, I like Kate up for, like, the hip-hop. I love I, the he's appreciation more of a rock star. towards yeah. the Drake art. Drake is a rock star. He's hip-hop. I like hip-hop. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> I mean, I can... Wow. When somebody does something like that, because that is wild to just feed. And like that whole five minute song he released yesterday, Drake was just yeah. like, dude, fact check. We almost gave you even more false information just because we wanted to see how deep you'd go. And Aww. then he talks at the end. He's never, he, by the way, I don't Kendrick, even know if he'll come back. Kendrick with the, is going to have severe trust issues after oh, yeah. this. 
Well, whoever was in his Kenny, team. Kenny, if you need to call me, <laughs> we can process our traumas and our trust issues together. We love you, Kendrick. If, you, if you'd ever like to be on the Give Them Lala podcast, <laughs> we'd love to have you. You can tell us really what it was all about. You can we'd give love it here. to hear it from you and you only. One last thing on this. Let's hear it. Can you just imagine the snake from Drake's camp just watching Kendrick just drop these snake. lines, knowing every single thing is just absolutely Do false? Do you think he's in the witness protection program now? Oh, I bet he's he has to be. Camp. It has, has to be. be. I guarantee he's Trust in Ontario right no now with Drake. Yeah. yeah. With a whole bunch of people around him. But that's yeah. so, it's got to be, it takes a lot for you to allow people in your camp, especially if you're like dropping like bars and stuff. So this guy was close to Kendrick and he like did this and then just disappeared. Which makes you think, how long was he in that camp Yeah, how for? long was he there for? It's not someone Kendrick's? who just, yeah. yes. Well, like how long did Drake have his dude in Kendrick's camp? Because this is. Because there is a line in back to back, or in uh, not back to back, uh, push ups, and he goes, This shit's been heating up. Like, this isn't new. It's been heating up. Oh, no. Yeah. You cannot trust, you can't trust anyone. Well, remember, no. J. Cole dropped a diss track apparently in the midst of all this. And then I read that Schoolboy Q apparently advised him to get out of the beef. Oh, well, that's smart. Yeah. Oh, smart. Yeah. I love J. Cole. Love there, I, there is a guy. In the hip hop community, and I forget his name, but he was talking about all of these beefs in hip hop music. And he was talking about how it can get really scary and people's lives are put on the line. And he did say, I'm super here for like a fantastic battle of the words. Like, I hope the both of these dudes just like keep it to their music, keep it to the art. And I think we all feel the same. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Easton, thank you for bringing thank um, you, that to the... Thank you, producer John. Thank, thank you, you, producer, producer John. John. The news that I really, really give a shit about, to be quite honest, if we could just talk about all things. Kendrick and Drake. Yeah. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, Drake. Giving us good old-fashioned war of words. Content. Miracle yes. geniuses. Thank Chef's you. Chef's kiss. Just I hope kiss. that you... The, the, the Give Them Lala Podcast. It is Give Them Lala Podcast approved. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about our aches and reliefs of the week. Okay. Who goes first? Let's go with Jessica because anytime I put her last, I forget she that she forgets this. <laughs> she forgets about me. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with my relief because I got a couple of DMs from people who are at um Sick New World and they were like, wait, you were in VIP because they saw my content. I was in VIP, you guys. And it was because I cannot say these ladies' names, but two Give them all a podcast listeners. Queens, sisters, DM'd me the night before and were like, we heard you on the podcast. We love all three of you. I were setting you wristbands aside at Sick New World. They set aside two. Sorry, producer John. And so Kyle and I grabbed them, snatched them. And they said, um, you and Kyle have fun in VIP. And so thank you, girls. You know who you are. I love you so much. Did you get drunk at Sick New World? I did not even have one alcoholic beverage. I got. I had coffee all day. Oh, so you were tweaking. Oh, I was tweaking. Yeah. It was delicious. And so thank you, ladies. And my ache is... Oh. Does that have to do with jujitsu? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that for the day that I have the jujitsu. Oh, are you getting um, a tattooed on your forehead? I'm getting a tattooed <laughs> on my forehead. She's, she's pulling an amber rose and getting a forehead tattoo. I've always been told this is a billboard size, so I should get stuff on there. My freaking ache. So I get I get a new phone yesterday. Yeah. I get the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Ugh. I the one with get, the new charger? Yes! You, um, did you not know about this? No. Forewarning <laughs> anyone, they don't give you a brick, like a plug brick. They give you, it's a new charger, which is like fine, whatever. It's like the Android charger It's now. like the USB-C into USB-C. But your, your, your thing doesn't fit into the plug that you plug into the wall, and they don't give you one. They don't give you one. You have to get the smart chargers like you have like yes. at your house or like in Palm Springs where it's the USB-C into the little plug. Yes. It's not like the big. It's not like the normal. USB. Yes. No, I've never. I haven't used those in years. If you needed you like a, if you needed a Does, USB. And she still has an older phone. I have an older phone, but so, it's the part that plugs into the actual phone that's different now. This No, but it's the other side too. They're the, both They're different. both different. Yeah, so then it wouldn't work with mine. Well, no, but it does because what you're not understanding is one of the sides is USB-C that goes I'll into give you her a phone. Brick. I'll give you a brick. I'll give you a brick. Thank and you. Then yours is I have that. Well, bricks. know that because they won't tell you that at Apple. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So buy a brick at Apple. Buy a brick. No, don't buy a brick at Apple. <laughs> buy a brick on Amazon. They're cheaper. Yeah, for real. Amazon. Yeah. Um, Easton, would you like to go next? Yeah, my ache. Oh, we all know my ache. Uh-oh. I was moving again, baby. Moving again. Moving again. Yeah. Where are you moving, Easton? In a new place? Yeah. Don't tell, tell us. Are you going to tell us or not no, tell I'm us? Telling. Oh, good. I'm moving into Lauren's back house. Ah! Yeah, a couple, five, six months. See where we're at. Me and my buddy, we just, uh, last day is tomorrow. So we've been moving and we're almost done. Mentally exhausted. Physically exhausted. Physically exhausted. I was thinking, now I have to clean her. I just looked at her and went, oh, no, I got to do your other spot, too. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. Moving sucks. No, Good for you. For- yeah. So, but my relief is. Yeah, I still have the apartment. Yeah. And I have to go clean that shit out. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> I can't but wait that to was stop my ache, for that is apartment. just constant moving and that. But my relief is I handled it mentally well, even though I'm mentally You did exhausted. because do you think it's, do you attribute that to the meds? I attribute that to the meds, to everybody who has reached out, who gave me tools with their little things that they do. To everybody, I know I've said it. I didn't reach back out, but there's a lot of things that people said to me that I took in. And when I'm going through something, I'm always like, oh, yeah, this little thing that they said is mm, I could do that right helpful. now. Helpful. So, yeah, the meds, the people. Do you ever think about taking the good. thing that you put around your dreads to smack you in the forehead? That could calm the anxiety a bit. That's what no, people you're do it with rubber bands. Yeah, I just feel like it would really take your <laughs> really mind off of bing. it. I feel yeah. like I get a headache. You would. But no, I'm, that, yeah. It's my... a joke. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Easton, I'm so happy for I you. I know. So, yeah, that was, that was my, I was like, damn. I feel very mentally stable. We love this I do for not you. after a big move. My, and my house is a mess. You should see it. They're not allowed in because yeah. I already know that they're going to freak out. No, I'm not coming in the house. <laughs> Are you crazy? Boxes everywhere right Never. now. I have to. You can't. Yeah. The back house? Yeah, but I walk in there. I give it a good smile and forget it. Wow. Later. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my relief is that I'm mentally stable right now. To that's, a <laughs> that's a huge relief. That's a huge We're all drill. very proud so, of you hey, for taking your you mental everyone. health seriously. Yes. Shout and out, being Matt. proactive. Yes, thank you. Um, my ache of the week is a show on Disney called Diana Ultimate Mishmash. Yes, I hate this show. I would, I don't know if Disney cares about what I have to say. I would like you to care about what I have to say. There's certain content that you guys are putting on Disney that is making kids that are like my kid mimic the behavior. And it's not good. What is the behavior? Diana is this girl. They're real people. And it's her and her brother. And Diana will have something in her room or in her playroom or outside. Doesn't matter. The little brother will come in and take it and laugh. And she folds her arms like this and makes a face and pouts. And then he gives it back to her. And she goes, yay. And then they play together. But, but it's just what's like- happening is when mom comes in to Ocean and I tell her, it's time for bed. We're not playing anymore. She folds her arms and does the whole stink face Mm -hmm. and I just don't like the some of the things that Disney's putting out there it's teaching kids like mine she'll get she gets what she wants were you guys not I wasn't allowed to watch Rugrats because Angelica said stupid babies and I would start saying stupid so maybe you have to take it away yeah like she's not allowed to watch that anymore she can't watch Lilo and Stitch because Stitch is a nightmare Stitch is a nightmare but Lilo talks to her sister disrespectfully Mm. and says you're weird and slams the door, and my daughter started doing that. Is a little character. She watches something and she mimics the behavior. Mm-hmm. So Disney, please it's, just be more mindful about what you're. I understand that there has to be conflict sometimes, but kids that are younger, impressionable. Like I literally don't even know what to show my kid. Well, why couldn't she just be Disney. sad? Bluey. Why does she have to be cranky? Why couldn't she just go? Like, like, why she have to be? How about we use our words? Yeah, we always teach our kids use your words. Why can't she say that was mean? Can yeah. you please ask me? Yeah. Or there is an do you idea. Wanna, we can share. Let's, Let's share. play how together. About we teach that? Mm-hmm. No, so now it's like Bluey's on the TV. All these things. Cinderella. Like, yes. The one that I love that she likes is Jungle Book. 
I love Jungle Book. Loves Jungle Book. I've also started playing for her the things uh, that G um, National Geographic is making with Disney, like about the tigers mm. and how they created a freeway in India for tigers to go underneath. They like built their it's so freeways cool. up. Oh, dope. oh! I thought you were talking about the um, natural grass bridge that goes over. That's the- sick. Yeah, but this one was tiger. They were trying to teach people and tigers how to coexist together. There were a lot of tiger killings um, over this like road that they had to cross from one side of the forest to the other. So they decided to demolish it, build the road. It's not a freeway. Build the road upward. And now the tigers cross underneath. It's very cute. That's beautiful because you know what? They were here first, so. Yeah, right. So we shouldn't be, yeah. Don't get me started on people. Mm. They also painted eyes on the backs of their cows so that the tigers would feel like they were being watched and not eating them. And it saved like a lot of their cattle. I oh, that's dope. love that. Yeah, Ocean got a kick out of that that's- as they painted the <laughs> Which- eyes. She's like, they're painting their bums, mom. <laughs> um, my relief is Ocean today, um, she went and got a shot. We tried to distract her by saying we were going to the park. And she had on a beautiful princess dress. So and I said, before we go to the park, we got to go home so that we can change you. And she said, I don't want to change, Mama. And I said, we can't wear that to the park. It's so pretty. And she said, but if I wear this to the park, all the people are going to look at me and say, who is that beautiful girl in that beautiful dress? <laughs> Is that ocean? <laughs> and I looked at my She's mom famous. and I was like, that is so cute. That's true. Wear the dress to the park. <laughs> Wear the freaking dress. I don't, even yeah. care. I don't care. The last time she wore a really long dress, though, and I allowed her to wear her princess shoes, she almost ate shit about 40 <laughs> times every time she tried to crawl on something. I was like, never again. Never again. <laughs> so that was a highlight um, love of my week. Anyway. You guys are awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this very um, up and down and all over the place episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Um, Remember to catch the bonus episodes every Monday. Video and audio drops same day. Uh, Regular episodes of Give Them Lala drop every Wednesday at 9 a.m. And you can find the videos on YouTube every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Remember, like comment, and subscribe. Did I get all three? I'm getting really good at that.